Here we show an example of medical teleconsultation system. This is a tool for health problem solving through information and communication technologies in sparsely populated and remote areas, such as archipelagos, rainforests, cold highlands, and desert. In the area of 1.5 million square kilometers of rainforest, whenever the general practitioner attends a patient in a primary healthcare post, he usually handles low complexity problems on his own. However, he may also come across cases of medium complexity, either mono or multidisciplinary, challenging the general practitioner's common knowledge. In such a situation, the district hospital is usually available at a reasonable distance, but only for intensive care cases. For no expertise or specialist outpatient care is available, the general practitioner can log into the portal of telehealth through one of the 22 satellite antenna connections in the municipalities and apply for medical teleconsultation. According to the guidelines, he inputs in free text form a. the full identification data of the patient name, surname, gender, date of birth, municipality of residence, weight and diet b. the clinical history related to the actual reason for consultation c. the relevant semiotic aspects of the physical examination d. the hypothesized diagnosis or the differential diagnosis diagram. E. Ongoing and relevant previous medications. F. The specific demands or questions he wishes to be addressed by the consultants. Documents can be attached, including pictures of important semiotic features, such as lesions of the skin or varicose veins, X-ray tests, electrocardiograms, and other files in the most common electronic formats, such as JPEG, PDF, Word, MP4, etc. An internal medicine clinician, the medical coordinator, receives the application asynchronously and goes through the information within a maximum delay of eight hours time. The medical coordinator may reject the application under four conditions. One low complexity of care that should be solved at primary health care level in the municipality. 2. Non-compatibility with the capacity of medical teleconsultation to address the case, for example surgery, complex procedures of cancer staging, complicated psychological and psychiatric evaluations, etc. 3. Unfeasible requests for ethical and procedural reasons. 4 application not drawn up according to the recommendations of the telehealth center. The medical coordinator justifies the reasons for rejection and provides guidance to the general practitioner to improve the quality of his future applications. If the application is accepted with only some minor information missing, the medical coordinator returns the contact with the general practitioner synchronously. Telephone calls, teleconferencing through voice-over internet protocols, according to the general practitioner's available communication tools. In this manner, any unclear issue in the application is ascertained. The medical coordinator, as an internal medicine clinician, takes the responsibility for drawing up the strategy for solving the case. For this purpose, he may contact one or more experts from various continents, asynchronously or, more often, synchronously. Experts of various medical disciplines are included in a database of over 90 units. Previously, all of them of proven skills and experience had declared their commitment to advising the medical coordinator and have gained this trust. 
Finally, the medical coordinator builds the strategy of clinical problem solving by merging the required knowledge, establishing priorities, and drawing up a plan of action in accordance with the principles of the internal medicine holistic approach and common worldwide shared official medical deontology. From this point, three possibilities may occur. One. The patient's problem can be solved by the applicant himself, aided by simple advice. For instance, prescribing and adjusting treatments for a resistant chronic heart failure or for a specialist disease such as eczema. The action to take is asynchronous counseling. The second possibility, the general practitioner can solve the problem through a procedure he has never done before, for instance, carrying out an ultrasound scan to diagnose gallstones in the gallbladder. The action to take is to build up capacity by video teleconferencing or by sending videos or voice recorded animated PowerPoint presentations. The third possibility the patient must undergo procedures or treatments that no health professional in the municipality can perform, for instance, surgery of the highest complexity. The action is to appoint the proper facility to refer the patient. Who takes these actions and how? It is the medical coordinator who makes the decision. Whenever the case is multidisciplinary, the medical coordinator may draw up a confidential report in free text style by himself and gets it through the portal and to the general practitioner with proper attachments. Alternatively, while dealing with monodisciplinary cases, he refers the case through the portal onto a registered specialist teleconsultant. Thereafter, the selected teleconsultant's logs in, goes through the data and draws up the medical report for the applicant, just the same way the medical coordinator would have done. Although in free text style, the counseling report could be divided into three chapters. The first chapter is optional and entitled Advices to Improve the Quality of the Application. The second chapter is guidance and is related to the strategy for problem solving, including the differential diagnosis diagram and the answer to the applicant's initial questions. The third is practical, namely recommended conduct. The quality of such counseling is much related to multimedia tutorials and references, which can be attached to the report by the medical coordinator or the teleconsultant. No more than 30 hours should be left between application and the counseling report posted. The applicant closes the case by evaluating the quality of the counseling. Finally, the case is filed. According to the Health Professional Ethical Code of most countries, the general practitioner remains the accountable face to the patients throughout the process in that the application into the teleconsultation system does not transfer responsibilities.